Okay, let's talk about nitroglycerin. So, a 56-year-old male presents to your office complaining of mild, intermittent chest pain. He states that over the last two months he has been developing shortness of breath and sharp substernal chest pain after climbing stairs and walking long distances. The pain does not radiate to his arms or throat, is not associated with eating and resolves within minutes of rest. His past medical history is significant for elevated cholesterol levels. After a thorough cardiac workup, you decide to start the patient on several cardiac medications, including a medication that will relieve his symptoms by decreasing cardiac preload and by relaxing the coronary vasculature. So, nitroglycerin, similar drugs. I'm looking here at Lang Pharmacology cards, if you're wondering. Mechanism. So nitroglycerin is uh, converted to nitric oxide intracellularly. Nitric oxide acts to stimulate guanylate cyclase, thereby increasing G CGMP synthesis. Elevated levels of CGMP leads to dephosphorylation and deactivation of myosin light chain, which thereby results in smooth muscle relaxation. Nitroglycerin preferentially exerts its effects on the smooth muscle of veins, which results in the pooling of blood in the veins and a reduction in preload. Nitroglycerin also relaxes coronary artery smooth muscle. Clinical use is used in the treatment of angina, pulmonary edema, and heart failure. Angina, pulmonary edema, and heart failure. Side effects. Transient com compensatory tachycardia. Um, because of the uh, bar baroreceptor reflex, I'm guessing, headache and orthostatic hypertension, hypertension because the veins opened up. So when you stand up, you're going to get dizzy. So that's nitroglycerin. Um, similar drugs, amyl nitrate isosorbide, mononitrate, isosorbide, dinitrate. Clinical uses, angina, pulmonary edema, and heart failure. Be careful of orthostatic hypertension, tachycardia, and headache.